Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with another session on Rasa Chatbot and that too with Rasa 2.0. And in today's session, I am going to show you that how you can use the entities for the extraction of some information that you actually want to collect. So this is all that we will learn in today's session. Now let's get started and let's see how to extract the entities from the information that the user is going to give to you. So let's get started. So here you can see this is an example which we took in the last session, right? So there what exactly we have done is we have made a very short story where what exactly we were doing is we were just asking like what is your name? We were asking the bot like what is your name? So bot was replying like my name is innovate yourself. So as you can see in here, right? So this is what we have done in there. But today we are going to add one extra feature to the information that we are adding in here. So that extra feature is the entity extraction. So for that, I'm going to tell you like what exactly we will do in here is like uh, what I will do is I will simply uh, continue with this conversation in this conversation like what will happen is in the initial stage what will happen I will say like tell me your name and accordingly your bot will reply and also your bot will ask you like what is your name and also it will ask you like what is your mobile number so it is going to ask these two informations from you and accordingly uh, it is going to reply back so this is all that we will do in here and that will also include the part entity extraction so let's get started and let's start by doing it so firstly go to the nlu.yml so that at least we will add uh, two more intents in it one will be for telling the name second one will be for telling the mobile number so this is all that we will do in here so let me just quickly add that part right so for that firstly let me just write the intent name for it right so let's say the name will be my name so it's like i'm telling like my name is ashish my name is innovate or anything so just type the examples and don't forget to add this right and now just add my name is ashish so here you can see this is a very simple message my name is ashish but ashish is the information that we have to extract so that instead of picking up all the data i will only pick ashish which is the name right so this is uh, what i will do so i will just add this part as an entity right so let me just show you how to do that so for that just enclose this inside the square brackets and accordingly just after that open the curly brackets inside the curly brackets you have to mention entity so right now whatever i am doing this is the same thing which we have done in the previous uh, versions of rasa as well right so this is the same thing there is no change over here so the changes are uh, in the domain file so let me just show you uh, for that so just type let's say name is the entity right similarly the value for it and the value is ashish right so this is how what we can do is we can just add the entity or let's say we can add the way uh, to collect the information right so this is how we will add that part accordingly let's just add some more data for it let's say rahul All right, so this is all about the intent and that intent is my name, right? So this is the first one. Accordingly, let me just add the another one as well. And that another one is for the intent uh, for let's say mobile number, mobile number and just correct the spelling, right? Just type the examples in here. Let me just add it. Let's say my number is whatever is the number that is also an information that i have to collect so just add it inside the square brackets let me just add it also i can directly add this part if in case i don't want to set the value for it right so i can directly put it like this as well right so i don't have to put the value right so let me just add some more data to it all right so i have added the data now after that what exactly i have to do is okay i forgot to add this so just add it 
now after that what you have to do is you just have to copy the names and you have to add it inside the domain file right so let me just add it quickly paste it here similarly do the second one as well mobile number also add this one here right so this is uh, what I have done just for the entity part right and right now I have just added the indent name similarly do the same thing for entities as well right as you have already worked on the entities part in the previous version right so there you may have seen like if you have to add the entities in the domain file you have to uh, create an extra block for it and in that you have to mention them right so let me just add them so simply just type name and number so name and number are the entity names right so you can see in here name and number these are the entity names right so this is what I have mentioned over here right so this is the way what I have done and similarly I have to add the questions for it because these are the answers so first one is my name is Ashish second one is my mobile number is this these are the answers but where are the questions questions will come inside the domain file under the responses so just add them just simply write utter whatever it is utter let's say my name all right so you can see i have added two more questions first one is what is your name second one is what is your mobile number so these are the two things oh, okay let's add one more thing uh, let's say utter thanks so at the end when I will provide all the information I will simply say like thanks for providing the values all right so this is uh, what I have done right now so these are the questions these are the answers for it and one more thing is like here is entity but entity will not be extracted directly without the uh, format that we have to add in rasa 2.0 and that format is to go to domain file inside here inside the name and inside the mobile number intent you have to mention it like this just put a colon press enter so there are two things one is use entities second one is ignore entities so in this way what i will do is whenever i will say some message and your model will uh, classify that whether it is my name intent or it is mobile number or it is something else so in that case there must be some entities so that entities should be added over here so that whatever entities you want your bot to extract then only it should be extracted otherwise it should be ignored if you have added it into the ignored list right so let's add it so this is the beauty and this is the very useful thing if in case you are having a confusion between the different intents where you are having multiple type of entities right so that is the most important and the very good thing for a chatbot right so let me just add it here so in the case of name I will have name do the same thing for the mobile number as well so let me just add it and in here just mention number so this is the way how I can add the entities right along with the intents so which simply means that if in case I am going to say some message and that message is my name intent and from there what I have to do I have to collect the entity or let's I have to extract the entity and what can be that entity that entity can be a name that entity can be a number that entity can be anything but if in case let's say I want to add some other thing let's say I want to ignore some entity and that entity can be an email ID right so suppose I don't want to use that part I want to ignore that so for that I simply have an option ignore entities and in here just mention email so what it will do is it will extract only name it will not extract email ID if in case you will mention along with the input message right so this is how we can ignore that part but for now we don't want to use it and we don't have any email id right so that's why i will just remove it but if in case you want to ignore them just use it and you will ignore it very easily right so just remove it for now right 
so this is how i have done this part so inside domain i have done this inside nlu i have done it so the final thing is you have to made a story for it right so let me just add it here so i'm going to overwrite it right so here you can see this is a story which i have written over here and in this you can see this is simply the name for your story and these are the steps firstly it will be like tell underscore name which means I will directly ask my bot like what is your name so bot will reply my name is you know wait yourself based on that your bot is also going to ask one question right and after that there is another action which is utter my name so bot will ask what is your name so I will say my name is Rahul my name is Ashish my name is anything whatever it is right and based on that here you can see I am specifying that there will be an entity which will be extracted and that entity name is name and the value for that is Rahul so this is how I am going to add it inside the stories so the same thing we have to do for the phone number as well so the same thing is like after that uh, the bot will again ask you another question like what is your mobile number and after that you will say my mobile number is this this and accordingly your entity will be number and the value will be this so this is how I am going to write it and this is the very easiest way to make a story for your chatbot right so I think everything is done now let's just train the model and let's test whether it's working or not right so let's go to the terminal and simply type rasa train right so make sure before training your model you have your environment activated in which you will have all the packages related to rasa 2.0 right so press enter now all right so i think i got one error in here and what is that error let me just check it uh, and i guess i know what is the error intent is phone number over here okay yeah this is it just change it to mobile number right now retrain it all right so you can see the model is trained successfully right now it's time to verify it so for that just type rasa shell and now we are going to check in the debug mode so that we can see everything right so let's run it in the debug mode okay so now we can talk to the bot so as for the conversation as per the story you can see the first thing is tell name so that means i am going to initiate and i'm going to ask my bot like what is your name so let's say tell me your name so you can see my name is innovate yourself and what is your name so now it is asking me like what is my name so let's say my name is ashish so you can see it is coming to the next question which means it has worked properly so to verify that let's scroll up and in here if you will find that like the received user message is my name is Ashish and in here the intent is my name so this is the name for your intent and accordingly entities entity is having a value and in there you can see the value for that is Ashish so A S H I S H here you can see right so from here it is clear that you are able to extract the entity correctly with the format that I have specified here right so this is what I have done and now it is asking me for the next question what is your mobile number so let's say my number is all right so it is coming to the next answer as well right so here you can see like my number is this and accordingly the name for your intent is mobile underscore number and also the entity for that is a uh, number and the value for that is this whatever I have specified so in this way what we can do is we can extract the entity from the user input that a user is going to specify right and I hope now it is clear to you that how you can extract the entity from the information that user is going to give you and also how you can further use it 
right now we have seen like how we have extracted the entity in the next session i will show you that how you can store that information using the slots so that is it for today i hope everything is clear to you but still if you are facing any difficulties in understanding the topic then feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and also if you have liked this video do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from my channel Till then, bye-bye and happy learning.